I'm John Hershey, president of J. Hershey Architecture. Today we've given a tour of these two homes which were built in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity and the U.S. Green Building Council. This week was the 2010 International Green Build Expo at McCormick Place in Chicago and we had a tour that 30 people came up on to tour these two homes. So a number of different technologies on these two homes. Our focus really is on affordability with Habitat certainly, but as well energy efficiency, uh, products that are brought in from local distributors and suppliers, manufacturing. We have this core in here. This is basically where our, where our air is being exchanged, temperature-wise. And we have two little fans you can see in there. One fan operates on the exhaust side, one fan operates on the outside air side. I don't know if you had a chance to look outside. We have the two hoods on the roof, and that's where we're bringing the air and sending it out there. Um, what we try to do with these type of systems is we want to bring in the outside air into living spaces and bring our exhaust air out from contaminated spaces, so our kitchen and our bathrooms. And it just creates a circle in the space and just creates a comforting comfort level in the space. This helps during the summer. It helps. It, it's more in the winter, really. But yeah, in the summer it also it also will help. Yeah, we we have this this here that will sense the humidity that could be set okay. and be adjusted here. Gotcha. And then this will also work on a timer for the kitchen, so this acts as the kitchen timer. Mm -hmm. So if you're in there cooking, you flip that on. As I mentioned before, this has two modes of operation. This will have low speed continuous ventilation, and then it'll also have an increased speed. So when we're doing cooking, we kick that speed up. We have these uh, zone terminal boxes here. You can't see them, but basically behind the register, there's a box there okay. that has a damper in it, and those open up in the high nice. speed. And then also in the bathroom, it's the same type of system. It's almost like a VAB box. I don't know if you're familiar with that, which just has a, a damper in it and go to different positions and let more air go through. So, for example, the vaulted ceilings and the high clear story windows, we draw in air through the lower windows, right. and the heated air will rise through the, the upper clear story windows. Those are operated by a switch, so all the homeowner has to do is flip on a switch, the windows will open up, draw that heat out, uh, as opposed to a whole house fan or something like that. On its own it will do that, because I guess heat rises and the heat will want to find its way out. Exactly. Uh, we also have paddle fans, uh, ceiling paddle fans help circulate the air um, so that's that's beneficial uh, in the in uh, back bedrooms and spaces up here we try to put windows on multiple walls again to create that cross ventilation and draw the air through uh, we've got you know shading where we need it things like that to keep that heat gain down uh, so it's more comfortable to find out more about this project and our firm, go to jhersheyarchitecture.com. You can also Google the U.S. Green Building Council and Habitat for Humanity of Lake County.